Hi guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today, this is the 1.18 update in Minecraft, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So today we're going to be checking out the new caves. So we're just going to get a potion of night vision, and some milk, and another ice sword. So yeah, let's go find some cool caves. Let me just get rid of that bottle. So... Let's go find some keys. Nope, oh, I feel like I just found one. Let's go down here. I just found some copper. Okay, that wasn't a real cave. Is there any more in here? No, that's all. We're just gonna try to find caves. Now, caves can also be underwater. So, we also have like huge mountains, but. Let's just find caves right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. This looks so cool. What's in here? So what is in here? Whoa. We can even go deeper. Well, look at these caves. Let me first turn on coordinates because that might help us if we're looking from four caves. It might help us. There we go. I turned it on. Let's keep going down. And it looks like this is the end of the cave. Looks like a dead end. So let's just go back up. <clears throat> There we go. Wow. That was a tall world. Oh, and this is where we were. That's like a huge hole. But let's just go find some other caves. I mean, like, real caves. Some long caves. Oh, we found a village. Usually if you find a village, that means there's going to be a stronghold under it. That's what it usually means. Find a village, find a That's what it means, usually. So yeah. Oh, I just found a swamp. Wait. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Oh, we just found this thing. Oops, my sword. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in the swamps. In the next update, we will get a swamp update. That's what update we're going to get next. A swamp update. And this swamp update is going to be the wild update. We're going to have the mangrove swamp. That's the new swamp we're going to have. In 1.19, we're going to have a mangrove swamp. Okay, so yeah. Oh, what is this cave? Oh, I just found a geode. Now these geodes can spawn um, underground. I also found a dripstone cave. Oh, diamonds. I just found diamonds. Wow, this looks amazing. Let's go down here. Okay. Sometimes these caves can have dead ends. That's what could happen sometimes. And back into the swamp. 
Let's try to find a mountain now. Oh, we just found another village. They said these villages are rarer to find now, but it looks like we're more common now. Because I find these villages more common now. And we just found a plains. And a mountain. What? I don't know if it's a huge mountain. Oh, we found a gravel mountain. I don't know why these gravel mountains have these little trails of grass. Like, why are these here? Looks kind of weird. They should remove them. They kind of look weird. Oh, and I found another dripstone cave. There's actually more of a caves. We have two types of caves, which is a cave and a dripstone cave. And the dripstone caves are more common. So, let me show you some things that they made. I mean, they added. I did show you guys these features in the in my last Case and Cliff video, but I'm gonna just show um, them in this video too. So, once again, we have the dripstone blocks, and now um, the deep slate is gonna spawn below level zero. I know why you cannot. Put the spore blossom on the ground it doesn't make sense like why does it only hang from the ceiling and we also have the azaleas and also not just we have azaleas we also have azalea trees which look like this like if we just use bone meal on azaleas we can do something like this and even if you use a plain azalea, it's still going to show flowers when you grow it. And also, if you find an azalea tree, then that means there's a lush cave beneath it. But if you plant a lush, uh, an azalea tree, I don't feel like that means there's going to be a lush cave underneath it. You planted it, so that doesn't mean there's one underneath it. Yeah, you just you planted it, so it shouldn't be one underneath. But these azalea trees are kind of rare. Like, it's pretty hard to find one. Like, let's just... So now that we're gonna try to find mountains. Now, mountains are pretty hard to find, too, sometimes. And also, a good way to find geos is to look underwater. But for some reason, when I go into my survival world, I can't find anyone, any geos underwater water oh we just found this volume i know what that volume is i know what kind of volume that is let's go down here oh, is another drip something oh my vision is about to run out oh we i feel like we found a mountain oh um have we found one ah uh, it's Oh, we found one! Yes, we found a mountain! Yes, we have found a mountain. This is so exciting. So yeah, you can find mountains that look like this. You can find these humongous mountains. So yeah, you can find these humongous mountains, which have like snow. So these humongous mountains have these snow blocks. Like they're just insane. And they even have like ice spikes. And yes, they might have some caves too. This is probably the best mountain I found. The best epic mountain I found. Look at this. I don't even know if I'm on a mountain or on an ice spike spine. It looks like I'm on an ice spike spine, but I'm actually on a mountain mine. And yes, they also added powder snow, which you can go through. I don't know what this is. I guess that's supposed to be a cave, but for some reason, it's way too small to be one. This is such a huge mountain. This looks like I'm on a snowy biome. This is the largest mountain I've ever found.
Oh, I just found another mount two other mountains. Okay, this mountain looks a little better than that one. That one is just more like a snowy vine. Wait, they're connected. Whoa, look at this. We just found some two ice mountains. We just found two mountains in one world. This is so cool. Now you might find some other mobs. Now you must find some mobs up these mountains. In these mountains, you might find goats. And goats are mobs that can like push you off of edges. So yeah, I just found another dripstone cave in this mountain. This is the best mountain I've found. I mean, this might be my second best. I found like another mountain that was better than this one. But this is still a very good mountain. I really like this one. So, we also have some powder snow, and also, if you're trying to explore mountains, but you're having a very hard time because you keep falling into powder snow, then just wear um, boots. If you wear leather boots when you're on powder snow, you can walk on powder snow. And also, if you go into powder snow with boots, you do not freeze. Pretty cool. I'm just gonna take off my knife a bit so I can just continue going. My gosh, look how far this mountain goes. My gosh, when does this mountain end? Where does this mountain stop? It's an extremely huge mountain. I don't know where it stops. It's super huge. Why is there so lava on such a place? Oh, we found a goat. So these goats will spawn on the big mountains. And if you stand in front of them for too long in survival mode, they're gonna push you. This is the biggest mountain I've ever found. And we just found another one. This is so huge. I'm pretty sure this is the highest you can go on the mountain. This must be the top. Oh my gosh. So yeah. I might have to end, so, oh my gosh, I just found the new highest place you can go on the mountain. I just found the new highest place. I don't know where is the top of the mountain. I don't know where is the top. Where is the top? I have no idea where the top is. So yeah, I've asked to wrap it up for this video, so please subscribe and like the video so yeah bye oh wait yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so bye